All right, it's October 28th. It's around 3.30 right now, hiking in. I had this spot this morning, saw one little buck when I was getting out. And then I walked around, tried to find some fresh sign. Found a lot of fresh grapes, fresh shrubs, and there was a ton of acorns on the ground. So I'm gonna hike in a little over a mile right now, try to set up there and see what's going on. Maybe there's a big buck lurking around. I dropped an arrow. It's a little after four o'clock. I just got in the tree. I have the half rack spike over here. He came running in as I was getting set up. He wasn't running from me, but he wasn't running at me. But he just came trotting through here. And he went right over to where that doe was bedded today that I kicked up. And he was sniffing around her bed, and now he's just milling around over there. So a little bit about this setup. There's a really steep hillside in front of me that these deer can bed it on. There's an old clear cut out here to my north that these deer can be bedded in. And I can see the edge of it. And I can see most of this hill. And then below me, they could be bedded down there. But I'm hoping they aren't because my wind's kind of going down there. So this sit really is more of an observing sit. I can't confidently say I know how these deer use this piece of land. I've hunted it before. But it was in the peak of a rut when deer are just running around like crazy. I don't know how they use it right now. So I kind of want to sit back and see what happens. And then make a game plan for the future to move in closer to that area. So there is scrapes here. That's one reason for a buck to come in here. You have food. You got these acorns here. That's another reason for a buck to come in. And that doe was bedded there. There's three reasons for a buck to come in here. And one already did. First thing that buck did was come down here and check for that doe. It's the first thing that deer did. So as I said before, bucks could be bedded on this hillside in front of me. Bucks could be bedded in this clear cut. I think I am within earshot of both areas. So if I call, I feel confident bucks will be able to hear me. And those bucks are gonna know that doe was bedded here. They have those scrapes down here. So once I have a more consistent wind, probably after sunset when the thermals are pulling down, I'm gonna grab this branch. I'm gonna shake it around and grunt like there's another buck in here. Hopefully that'll entice a nice buck to come in here and check it out. I completely forgot my camo jacket, so I am rocking a gray long sleeve shirt. That's all I have. So we'll hang tight. I'm feeling pretty good about my chances of at least seeing deer tonight, so. Feeling good. Up to me did the whole they bounded off and didn't blow 
also I grunted a few times just in case any other deer heard that so that they think there's a buck chasing a doe here. It's worth a try. Hopefully they don't blow at me. Hopefully that's a little better exit. I think that buck's just 
just going to stay on this top and go left because there's some agriculture down there. So hopefully I won't bump them if I jump down a ridge. Thank you guys for sticking around. It means a lot to me that you guys watch my videos and support me. Cannot thank you enough. Um, on one of these corners here, there's going to be a link to buy some t-shirts. Um, my friend Eric and his fiance Tina made me some new shirt designs. If you want to check those out, click the link. And there's probably a video hanging out here. And then you can subscribe and see my channel. It's going to be in these areas on the corners of your screen. You can click on them and stuff. It's pretty neat. But thanks for watching, people. Peace.